One day, the ranger Fedor observed an unfamiliar occurrence, unprecedented in his experience, climbing a hunting tower, he diligently surveyed the surroundings with the task of tracking a herd of wild boars and counting their young, that season witnessed numerous pregnant females, and woodpeckers engaged in intense conflicts, the herd anticipated a significant increase in offspring, necessitating the suspension of shooting quotas due to the timid nature of wild pigs, close-range counting by. Humans proved challenging, perched in the tower and concealed in the barn, Fedor discerned the sound of approaching hooves, immediately recognizing that they were not wild pigs, his keen ear, an essential skill for a forester, allowed him to differentiate between animals, suppressing any instinct to react, he decided to cautiously observe, to his surprise, he momentarily forgot his caution and stood up, but the height of the tower shielded his movements from the animal's notice as the tower stood tall, a pack of wolves raced by, accompanied by an unexpected presence, a horse, the inclusion of a horse in a wolf pack was an unimaginable sight, this triggered Fedor's memory of a horse running away in a nearby village some years ago, the owner eventually found the mare in the forest, nestled among grass, sheltering a litter of wolf cubs, possibly five or seven, he didn't bother counting, at an age where they no longer needed milk but sought protection and warmth, the cub's mother seemed absent, prompting the owner to refrain from investigating the circumstances, he merely bridled the horse, led it through the forest, pursued by yelping wolves deterring the bothersome puppies swiftly mounting the horse without a saddle, the owner spurred it into a gallop, leaving the puppies behind, although he attempted to retrieve the runaway mare three more times, eventually resigning, he accepted her desire to live in the forest, if she didn't return by winter, it was assumed she would care for her offspring. Remarkably, the horse neither returned nor tended to her young, how she endured the winter in the forest remained a mystery, known only to God, it appeared she not only integrated with the wolf pack but played a role in its formation, the nature of this association raised questions about the laws of nature, was it a violation, a horse in a wolf pack, or wolves in a pack when the owner neglected his horse, many witnessed this peculiar community or symbiosis of animals, whether the horse participated in hunting remained enigmatic, as it seemed improbable that the seven wolves adopted a vegetarian lifestyle following their horse mother's example, Fedor remained skeptical of the tale, despite numerous eyewitnesses in the vicinity, and unexpectedly found himself becoming one, whether believed or not, a galloping herd or flock streamed past him, his only regret was not having a phone or camera to capture real evidence of this peculiar alliance unlike the carpenter, who had observed them for some time but had never witnessed such an unusual herd, hunting towers weren't ubiquitous, requiring Fedor to ascend trees to monitor the horse and wolves, year had passed since his initial encounter, leading Fedor to question whether he might be imagining or hallucinating the whole scenario, however, in a small snow-covered grove, he discovered footprints on old snow, bearing evidence of wolf and horse hooves, discerning the direction, he followed the tracks, finding horse and wolf. Prince on a sandy slope, assuring him he was on the right path, in the distance, he spotted a peculiar family scene, a horse peacefully grazing on the riverbank, with wolves resting nearby under the treetops, though an inexperienced observer might assume the wolves were preparing to attack, Fedor quickly realized they were relaxed, rolling on the grass, scratching themselves, and yawning, suddenly, one wolf approached the horse, tugging at its muzzle, the horse snorted and turned its head displaying evident pleasure in their interaction and friendship. This time, Fedor captured many photographs and, upon reviewing them at home, noted the horse's noticeably swollen sides, leaving no doubt that it was pregnant. Astonishingly, the mother wolf had decided to have a foal and had found a mate somewhere, a seemingly uncomplicated task. From that point on, Fedor closely monitored the horse, particularly concerned about the well-being of the foal, despite the horse being a horse. The wolves displayed no hunting instinct and refrained from preying on. The newborn, one day, Fedor was delayed due to his responsibilities as a forester, extending beyond tending to the runaway horse, from a distance, he heard peculiar sounds, wheezing and groans, realizing the horse was in labor and sensing something amiss, Fedor, wary of the wild and predatory nature of wolves, hastily climbed a tree, from this vantage point, he witnessed a peculiar scene. The horse was lying on her side, her sides and legs rising, 
actively in the process of giving birth, yet the foal was not emerging as expected according to the accounts, the horse in question was not young, and the wolves approached, lending their assistance in pulling out the foal, leaning on their paws and exerting effort, they eventually succeeded in freeing the foal, the horse sighed in relief and stood still, Fedor, more concerned about the foal's safety than its well-being, feared that the wolves might turn predatory, however, the grey predators, seemingly raised by the horse, started licking the foal, perhaps mistaking it for their own, in an hour, the foal was expected to stand on its thin legs and run with its mother, with nothing else to do, Fedor decided to leave the peculiar family alone and descended from the tree that evening, as Fedor heard noise at his doorstep, he was startled to find wolves everywhere, with a small fluffy foal peeking out from around the corner, the horse was conspicuously absent, but the foal, resembling its mother in color, timidly approached Fedor and pressed against him. The wolves, having likely detected the scent of the ranger from the days he observed the strange family, seemingly brought the colt to him, Fedor suspected that something unfortunate had befallen the horse, and the wolves, unable to care for the foal, made the sensible decision to bring it to humans, Fedor nursed the foal in the stable, and by the time he finished, the wolves had departed, the next morning, Fedor visited the birthing site and found his worst fears confirmed, the horse still lay, where she was the day before, the hoofed mother, who had raised a wolf pack, had passed away while giving birth to her foal, determined not to let it go easily, Fedor buried the horse on the shore where she enjoyed grazing on lush grass, now, his focus shifted to raising the foal, which grew rapidly and became a fine young horse in the following year, since then, Fedor hadn't encountered wolves, and oddly, this bothered him, in the spring, poachers entered the area, seemingly eliminating each. Wolf one by one, Fedor, aware of the pack's composition, never managed to get close to them, while riding around the neighborhood on his horse one day, Fedor sensed that the stallion was pulling him to the right, even stopping and stumbling, trusting the instincts of the horse, the forester decided to follow its lead, that's all about the first story, now let's watch another similar story, when a distressed canine obstructed the path of the ambulance at the end of a demanding shift, the paramedics initially attempted to shoo her away, however, upon realizing that she desired companionship, they soon uncovered that this affectionate puppy was meant for remarkable deeds right beside them, the ambulance crew had encountered a hectic day, constantly moving from one emergency to another as they concluded their shift, eager to hand over responsibilities to the next team. They navigated a small one-way street and paused at a stop sign, unexpectedly, a dog dashed in front of them. Taking a seat directly in their path, a situation they deemed inconvenient. The medics disembarked to chase the dog away, and upon their approach, she darted to the side of the road, looking back at them, having accomplished her mission, the medics re-entered the ambulance, prepared to proceed, but before the driver could start the engine, the dog returned to her spot, determined not to let them depart, once again, they exited the vehicle, and she repeated her actions, running in the same direction while continuously glancing back at them, the dog exhibited signs of distress, with her tongue hanging out and rapid breathing, although puzzled by her agitation, the medics pondered whether she wanted them to follow her, to test this hypothesis, they walked a few paces behind her, she ran ahead but frequently checked to ensure they were still in pursuit, it became evident that she was attempting to convey something, eventually, they reached a side street with numerous hedges, where they discovered something peculiar, amidst the leaves, there were unusual bursts of color, shades not typically found in nature, upon closer inspection, they identified a young woman lying in the bushes, seemingly unconscious, their attempts to rouse her began promptly, however, she struggled to concentrate, and her attempts at speech resulted in incoherent babbling, soon, she lost consciousness entirely, initially, the medics considered the possibility of substance addiction, contemplating the administration of medication to counter potential effects while one medic examined her, the other rushed to retrieve their bag and equipment, unaware that the dog was guiding them to a patient, they were unprepared for what awaited them, the examining medic discovered a medic alert bracelet on her wrist, and upon reading its contents, their perspective shifted dramatically, she was a diabetic, checking her blood sugar, they realized it was dangerously low, despite administering medication, they were too late, she had entered a diabetic coma and was completely unresponsive. Without the dog's intervention, 
She likely wouldn't have survived, they prepared her for transport to the hospital, and the dog trotted alongside them, speculating that the dog might belong to the woman, they assumed they had both been on a walk when her sugar levels plummeted recognizing the dog's role in summoning help, they decided not to abandon her, she accompanied them to the hospital, seemingly unwilling to leave the patient's side. The family could pick her up there, word of the rescue spread swiftly, a nurse named Marina, who was attending to the woman, took charge of the dog while awaiting the family's arrival, remarkably calm, obedient, sweet, and eager for attention, the dog's demeanor charmed those around her, Pepper exhibited remarkable composure, never once barking or causing a disruption, Marina, the nurse, found her behavior reminiscent of her childhood dog, the name tag on Pepper's collar identified her, and everyone in the hospital marveled at her intelligence, no one contemplated separating her. From her person, quietly lying on the floor beside the woman's bed, Pepper's unwavering devotion touched the hearts of those around her. Marina secured some dog-friendly food and water from the cafeteria for Pepper, eliciting joyful tail wags when she showered the dog with love and attention. Pepper even attempted to follow Marina until the woman softly moaned from the bed, though the patient remained weak. Her stabilized sugars brought relief, the family was en route, eagerly anticipating them. Reunion between them and Pepper, the savior of their daughter's life as soon as the patient expressed discomfort, Pepper returned to her, placing her head on the woman's hand, it was as if Pepper sensed the connection, providing the woman with comforting companionship, the family arrived at the hospital, some shedding tears due to the fear they experienced upon hearing the news, living with her parents. The young woman's health condition was a constant concern for them, however, when they were informed that Pepper had saved their daughter. Confusion replaced excitement or gratitude, they had no knowledge of Pepper, the woman did not own a dog, furthermore, their mother's allergic reaction to the dog indicated that having a pet at home was not feasible, grateful for Pepper's intelligence and initiative in seeking help, the family acknowledged their inability to take her in due to the allergic reaction, the father, appreciative of Pepper's role, brought the dog treats and food, playing with her at the hospital, yet, they confirmed that they couldn't accommodate her, Nurse Marina, stepping in, decided to care for Pepper while the family sorted out the situation. Now aware that Pepper didn't belong to the woman she had saved, the medical team noticed she appeared slightly dirtier than expected for a cherished pet, however, the presence of a name tag with a CR indicated she had a family somewhere, Marina was determined to find them, considering it the least the heroic dog deserved, in the interim, she committed to caring. For Pepper as if she were her own, that night, Marina took Pepper home with her before leaving, they stopped by the room of the young woman Pepper had saved, overcome with emotion, the woman cried while affectionately scratching Pepper's head, she had recognized her blood sugar dropping but couldn't react in time, although she had been aware of her condition, she couldn't articulate it, Pepper had stayed with her and sought help when needed. At Marina's home, Pepper received a bath, surprisingly. Enjoying the grooming session, it became evident that Pepper was accustomed to regular grooming, taking a morning off, Marina took Pepper to the vet the next day a microchip scan revealed the owner's name and address, making the search for her family seemingly more straightforward than Marina had anticipated, the vet confirmed Pepper's overall good health, with only slight underweight and dehydration, suggesting she may have been lost for a few days or weeks before encountering the young woman. Following the vet visit, they headed straight to the address from the microchip, Marina, empathizing with the distress of having a beloved pet go missing, wanted to reunite Pepper with her family promptly, however, the reality at the house didn't align with Marina's expectations, the residence was empty, no curtains, no furniture, and no signs of life, sold, sign on the lawn indicated that the house had changed ownership. The revelation proved frustrating and disheartening, Marina was left with questions, had them family moved without knowing where their dog was, worse, had they abandoned Pepper before relocating, seeking answers, Marina confronted a perplexing situation, she contacted the real estate agent, who refused to disclose information about the previous owners, however, when Marina explained her situation, the agent seemed willing to convey a message, in reality, she only recalled the call a week later during the house paperwork signing, meanwhile, the nurse cared for Pepper, who became a Comforting companion, returning home after a challenging day, Marina desired a glass of wine and a movie, surprisingly, 
Pepper, who had never done it before, joined her on the couch, offering solace by resting her head on Marina's lap, this newfound bond prompted Marina to seek permission to bring Pepper to work, recognizing Pepper's good behavior and understanding her circumstances. Everyone agreed she should accompany Marina to avoid being left alone at home, unbeknownst to them, Pepper became immensely popular at the hospital, demonstrating a remarkable ability to provide comfort and support, she instinctively knew when patients needed solace and had a talent for offering it, Pepper's hospital visits, where she greeted patients and napped beside them, brought joy to many, notably, she spent time with a terminally ill patient who lacked family support, though the patient's older sister visited occasionally, Pepper's presence brought a unique comfort despite attempts by nurses to Remove her, the patient insisted that the time spent with Pepper on her bed was the least terrifying moments she had experienced in days. One night, falling asleep with a smile on her face, the patient passed away peacefully, accompanied by Pepper, ensuring she wasn't alone. Ultimately, the dog's uniqueness added to the frustration of not being able to help her until a crucial phone call altered everything, the real estate agent, having relayed the message to the sellers, promptly contacted Marina. To her surprise, they revealed that they didn't own the house. It belonged to their father, and Pepper was his dog and closest companion. For about a year, Pepper had been a comforting presence for her owner, who had been battling a serious illness. Their bond strengthened during his illness, as the dog seemed to be the only source of comfort for him. However, the family faced a dilemma when they couldn't provide the necessary care for their ailing father, leading to his transfer to a dementia care facility. Uncertain about Pepper's future in a multi-pet household, the family wanted to ensure their father could still interact with his beloved dog, leaving Pepper at home during their visits to the care facility, they returned to find her missing, suspecting she had tried to follow them and gotten lost, the search for Pepper proved futile, breaking their hearts, as she was the first thing their father inquired about on his good days and seemed to reach out to on his bad days, the family's relief was immense when they learned that Pepper had been found. But they were still unsure of what to do with her enter marina who after the incredible turn of events involving a troubled dog blocking an ambulance offered to adopt pepper she even promised to bring pepper for visits to their father's care home the joy on his face upon seeing pepper again was beautiful bringing a momentary recognition and happiness during visits he enjoyed playing with her repeatedly asking about her owner and expressing how fortunate they were however at the end of each visit Pepper was content to return home with Marina, despite concerns about potential stress. It became evident that the dog was at peace, knowing her owner was looked after, through these experiences, Marina realized the exceptional nature of this very special dog believing in Pepper's unique purpose in life, Marina had her trained as a therapy support dog for hospitals, this allowed Pepper to accompany Marina to work daily, providing support to sick patients and lifting their spirits. Both the dogs and the patient seemed to enjoy the companionship, with the latter expressing how much comfort Pepper brought them, regardless of their illness, initially led by instincts to help one person in need, Pepper's training expanded her capacity to assist numerous people, Marina was deeply grateful for Pepper's impact, recognizing her as more than just a pet, Pepper had not only found a meaningful purpose in her work as a therapy dog but also a devoted human companion in Marina. After each day of supporting patients, Pepper got to return home with Marina, where they enjoyed playful moments and fun together, Pepper showcased a perfect balance between fulfilling a purpose at work and relishing joy at home, both the nurse and the dog built a fulfilling life together, considering Pepper's remarkable contributions, it's evident that she deserved praise for her efforts, dogs working in health-related fields, like Pepper, play a crucial role in providing comfort and support to those in need. Their unconditional love and instincts make them invaluable companions in healthcare settings, contributing positively to the well-being of both patients and healthcare professionals.